friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I am currently uploading daily. So if you're on lockdown, on quarantine, like myself, I am here for you every day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. I have two other channels if you're interested. I have a vlog channel, which I link down below. Also a beauty channel. Now friends, I am in a sweatshirt and pajama pants because it's just been one of those weeks. I've done many videos on what's going on in the world, what's happening with my reselling channel. If you are new around here, I have been a part-time reseller on eBay for 10 years, Poshmark for a year. So I do have a full-time corporate nine to five job in healthcare. Luckily for myself, I'm more on the administrative side, but I have been slammed at work. My job went 100% telecommuting as of Monday and I am so grateful that I'm able to work from home and still bring a paycheck every two weeks and Live my life and pay my bills because I have I have personally people in my life who are not able to do that who have applied for unemployment and I'm just seeing it everywhere that a lot of people are struggling right now So I just thought I would just post a really real what I've been up to this last week This is kind of like a vlog style Let's work together. Let's just talk crap together. We go to the grocery store. We go on walks. Um, we do shipping together. So this is basically the last four days, including today. So I'll probably end it today. You'll see me towards the end of the video. But let me know in the comments down below if you want me to keep doing this because I'm just in my house doing work and reselling stuff and real estate stuff. So if you guys want me to keep doing this, I'll just keep documenting snippets here and there of my day. Most of this is reseller focused because it's a reselling channel. Um, let me know if you like this style of video. We're going to go back to Monday. I'm walking in the rain, went to the post office. I need to get some exercise somehow because my gyms are closed. Let me know where in the country you live and like what's happening there. For example, in Los Angeles, restaurants are closed. They're only doing takeout or delivery. Gyms are closed. Fitness studios are closed. Basically, everything's basically closed. Goodwill's closed. I can't thrift. Whole videos on that. Link down below. So let's go back in time and let me know if you want me to keep doing these. I need to know because, <coughs> oh God, does anybody cough and then freak, <coughs> freak out like, oh Lord, here we go. Every time I've noticed, every time I eat, <coughs> I start coughing. I just had a piece of caffeine chocolate because... If you're not new around here, you know I can't stand caffeine. So I have to like do it in secret form, like chocolates and energy drinks. Anyways, let's, oh, did you hear my dog hacking up? Let's go back, friends, let's go back. Oh, hello, friends. It is currently pouring down raining. It is March 16th, and I'm basically on lockdown, meaning uh, my job is full-time telecommuting now. Uh, because that company made everybody work from home, which I'm grateful for because so many of my friends are just not making any money right now. But I think I told you guys this in the video I posted, I think it's called Should You Thrift um, with Coronavirus. Sorry if I'm distracted, I'm literally getting rained on. I don't think the camera's picking it up. But in order to get a workout, I wanted to just get in my car and go to the post office to ship. I walked to the post office and it's not that close. It's a couple miles away. So doing a couple miles round trip, but getting my workout in for the day. Um, I'm on lunch from my full-time job. So I thought, well, now's a good time to go do my shipping. Always hustling friends. So I don't know why I decided to film this. Maybe to motivate you guys to keep going give up you don't have to walk to the post office like I am obviously because even that's a risk I mean I know you guys can see people have been walking by but um, I'm not really like near a lot of people I think in the entire walk I probably passed like three four people I don't know maybe five this is a rarity for Los Angeles but I'm still going friends finding ways to stay active finding ways to keep the business going even though it's very scary times and even though it's pouring down raining <laughs> I'm out of breath because at this point I've already been walking a couple miles my arm is hurting so that's what I'm up to friends oh I've got a runner <laughs> that's like this probably the sixth person wasn't she running where did she go anyways I don't know where she went but this is 
is what I'm up to. I'm trying to stay busy. Oh, I thought she was running. <laughs> uh, it's nice to get outside. This is the first time I've been outside in like two days. Other than walking Coco. So, even though it's raining, I'm kind of excited. Eh, hopefully you guys can even hear me. Alright, I'll catch ya. It's, the wind is crazy. Okay, back home. I think I showed you guys these two things that sold in my one of my like 50 million coronavirus videos. And I told you that I was relisting items and I got two sales overnight. So I'm shipping these today. This is my exercise. I walk to the post office, as you've seen, going back. So these are, wow, these are heavier than I thought. Good thing these are going priority. So for priority, I just use priority mail envelopes or the paper ones that are a little bigger. This one is eBay. I actually have eBay envelopes. Let me go get them. One thing I love about filming on my phone is that I can just tap the button and it'll go from like zoomed in, super zoomed in, super zoomed in, zoomed out, and wide. I love that. I mean, these new phones are outrageously priced. Sorry, that's my phone holder. But they do cool stuff. So anyways, these are my eBay poly mailers. I do have some like cool ones that I use that I get from Amazon. But if you didn't know, if you have an eBay store, you can get free supplies once a quarter. Like last quarter, I got eBay tape. This quarter, I got these. And this shirt is going to fit perfectly in it. So let's package this up and then go to the post office again. <laughs> It's finally happening, happening. It's finally hap, oh my God. All right, friends, it's finally happening. I am photographing clothing. So I have this light that I got from Amazon. Um, it's very expensive, but it is very effective. It's at 50, I don't know if you guys can see that, 5,600 Kelvin, which is, I think, basically like normal daylight. But because I like controlled light because you can control, of course, how it looks. So let me show you the difference. I'll leave a link to this down below. I have a lot of lights, friends. I have a ring light. I have this light um, and I have two box lights and I need to make use of them. I'm just I've been lazy and I feel like my photos could be a lot better and I just need to use my lights. So all you do is and you can control the percentage here. Focus camera. So you can go all the way up. I don't know and 200%, but I'm gonna show you the difference. So this is at zero, if we can focus. And this is when we turn it all the way up. I don't know if my camera is showing how bright it is, um, but I don't even wanna show you. Well, maybe I can, hold on. Let me see if I can show you the brightness. Like, it's very bright, friends. So I love to use this one, especially at night, because it'll make it look like in my photos, literally like it's daytime. But let me cover it, because I feel like that's blinding you. But So I like to start with jeans, because they're my least favorite items to photograph, to measure. So I'm going to knock these out. These are a pair of J brand skinny distressed jeans, and I'm just going to knock it out. I want to film myself photographing, but I use my big camera, by the way. I love this camera. I use my big camera to photograph my clothing on. I'll link this down below. It's the best investment I've ever made. So, and I don't have a stand for my cell phone, so I don't know. We'll see if I can film myself photographing. Okay, this is actually something from my personal closet. Who remembers when, do you guys call these overalls? I call them overalls. Overalls were all the rage. I hate when my light socket shows. Oh, I didn't even realize. Did I lose a nail? Oh no, it's still there. Um, but these are so long, I just measured them. The length is 58 inches. Um, so remember friends, I've done a lot of tips on how to like get inventory, revive your sales during these slow times. I just went through my own closet. I've only worn these twice in the last, if you hear pitter patter, that's Coco. The last time I wore them was two years ago. So I was like, why am I keeping this? I think they're adorable. I know overalls come and go all the time, but I just never wear them. So, and they're Fashion Nova. I always tell you guys, if you can find Fashion Nova on the cheaps, I pick it up because I only get it from the bins. It's a fast fashion company. I don't necessarily support their ethics, but oh my God, look at this. I haven't even worn it enough that I didn't even take the paper off of this. <laughs> 
Um, but if you can find it secondhand at the bins for like $2 or less, like do it. Or if it's from your own closet, I bought these like two or three years ago. I think they were 30 bucks. I'll probably be able to get like, I don't know. Fashion Nova sells pretty well for me and fast. I'll probably be able to get at least 20 bucks. And I'm fine with that because I've had them for so long and I've worn them. So I'm still going, friends. I'm still photographing. All right, friends. I'm done photographing for the day. So I just thought I'd show you my notes. So what I do is either I use speech. What is it called? Speak to text or I just type it. So what I do is I write down the brand, what it is, the size, if there's a style. And then these are basically measurements. So L is length, um, W is waist, flat. Eyes inseam like for jeans. Um, for shirts, I do P, which is armpit to armpit, and then that way I just send it to I just email this to myself and send it to my lister, and she has everything. And then I used to handwrite it, and then I would take a photo of that, and she was like having trouble reading my handwriting because it's not the best. This is easier for her, and it's easier for me. It takes me longer to write something down than it does to either type it or do the speak, um, <coughs> oh my gosh, that is allergies, not COVID-19, please God. Every time, do you, are you guys paranoid like that? Like every time you sneeze or something or cough. Um, so I'm done for, the, oh gosh, hurry. <coughs> I need to, <coughs> excuse me, I need to take my Zyrtec. So I'm going to, um, up, oh, common tags just uploaded. If you came from her channel, let me know in the comments down below. We did a box swap in December. So I'm going to email this to myself, upload the photos to Dropbox, send it to my lister, and then I am going to relist some old items. Hustle, 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 friends. Just because we're stuck in the house doesn't mean anything. I'm off work and the current time is 6.03 p.m. and it's 61 degrees out. Friends, um, I think I showed this to you in a recent haul. If it's not up, it's coming. This is a Lulu's dress and I'm bored. I'm about to start work for the day. It's currently like, I don't know, really early in the morning. But I can't believe I can fit in this. This is a size small. I mean, I'm barely in here it's really tight around here because i've gained 10 pounds in like the last two months so i can't believe i can fit in the small i mean it's about to rip but super cute dress i feel like if i was a little slimmer i would photograph myself in it for the listing but i don't know you know how when you just don't feel like good you're getting behind the scenes this is where i film this is the dining room area but um yeah, so I'm about to film for today, and I was going to film in this dress because I like the top of it, but it's a little bit more boobylicious than I realized, so yeah, keep a lookout for this dress on my Poshmark. Um, I'm going to try to find a stock photo of it because, like I said, I feel like a stuffed sausage, but super cute. I probably wouldn't style it with black socks, but you know, it's a very cute dress, and if I was 10 pounds slimmer, I might actually keep it, um, but I'm not. I will be soon, but I'm not right now, and I need money, so <laughs> I'm selling everything right now. So I am about to start filming, gonna get the video up for today, and then I need to start work with my full-time job. I don't know if you just heard Coco hack up a lung because he has heart disease. Clearly, I'm just trying to fill my time. Um, this is another one that I can't believe I'm fitting into size smalls. I just feel like so... I don't know, like, bloated. Um, maybe because it's that time of the month. That's probably why, too. That's not helping. But super cute. So this is from my best friend, Summer. I think I told you why. Yeah, I, t I showed you this, this one before. But new with tags. This is so cute. I would keep it, but I don't wear... I don't know if you can see. It's backless. I don't like backless stuff because... I have larger chest and I need a bra on at all times, but I think I'm going to film in this one and um, this will be listed today, but just thought I'd show you on. I should photograph myself in these, but I'm just going to use stock photos. You know when you just don't feel good? Like, I just don't, I just feel like, <clears throat> anyways, let's get to work and stop procrastinating. All right, friends, I've made it to the post office. And I made it to Whole Foods, only buying what I need. I guess we could do a grocery haul when I get home. Um, people are kind of losing it. I was in the grocery store and I was at the, the meat counter and I had gotten 
like organic ground chicken and so had this other guy and so when they put it on the counter I thought it was mine because they're like organic ground chicken and so I touched it and he's like that's mine and thanks for touching it I'm like listen bruh I know we're all freaking out it was an honest mistake you know what I'm saying I didn't want to touch your meat I thought it was mine <laughs> that's what she said I need to stop watching The Office by the way I'm also watching a ton of The Office right now like probably the thousandth time I've seen the entire series. <sighs> All right, friends. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, though. It's currently 63 degrees and sunny with a nice breeze. I'm going to head back home, finish my work from home day, eat my lunch, and I'll check in with you soon. All right, back home. First up, we have a organic rotisserie chicken. Um, I didn't know what to get for lunch, so I got <laughs> this because I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking. I tried to get organic meat when I can, but they were literally sold out. I wanted to film in there, but it was hectic. So I couldn't get any organic meat. Uh, they were sold out, which is wild for Whole Foods to be sold out of meat. But I got some chicken breast. Just buying what I need to get me through the week. This is um, chicken breast tenders. Also got, I think this is ground chicken. I'll probably make like some chicken burgers or something. I'm trying to eat less poultry and eat more seafood, but the seafood they had, I was not into. They have a limit right now on the amount of frozen goods you can get. So I got two bags, one of sweet corn, one of edamame. And then this is my current energy drink of choice. If you are new around here, I cannot stand coffee, but my days are so long. And I need caffeine, and one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop drinking Red Bull because I love the flavor of Red Bull, but it is not good for you. So this one's supposedly organic. I used to drink um, Yerba Mate, and now they're saying that might cause cancer. Like, you just can't win with these drinks. I'm sure something's going to come out about this one. But for now, this is what I'm drinking. It's organic ginger, caffeine, and sugar, so I don't know. I drink. I don't drink the whole thing. I drink about half. I drink about one a week, honestly. Like, I'll drink, like, one-fourth every day. So I got two of those, and that's it, friends. I am only buying what I need. It is just myself and Mr. Coco. If you don't know, Mr. Coco is my shih tzu. Actually, you guys haven't seen him. Let me go show you. He's doing good. Everybody wants to know how you're handling being quarantined with mom. Are you doing okay? Have you been enjoying your walks? We've been going on mile walks at least once a day so he can get some <laughs> he is so cute look at that tail wait where are you going everybody just wants to know how you're doing he's doing fine his sweater says insta dog well sit <laughs> sit he thinks my phone is food he's had it for years it's literally falling apart but he gets cold when his hair is short is the quarantine treating you right can you roll over oh okay roll over Oh, no back talk. Coco, roll over. Oh, my God. All that lip. Good boy. Sit down. You want a treat? All right. Hold on. Down. <laughs> so, this is my quarantine buddy. Easy. If I don't say easy, he'll, like, snatch it out of my lip mouth. This is it. Just me and this, this man. <laughs>